What's up guys, how is it going? Welcome back to another video here. So today I'm going to be showing you my starter squad for FIFA 17. Now this isn't final, this isn't definitely what I'm going to be using when the FIFA 17 actually comes out. But this is the first team that I've actually been able to build for FIFA 17 using the web app. Now it is a BPL team, like I said in the um, pack opening I was doing. I was wanting to make a BPL team and I have managed to put together a fairly decent BPL team. It cost me about 10k, so it is fairly cheap and it is pretty decent in my opinion. But we're going straight, to straight, we're gonna jump straight in. I don't know what the hell I just said then. Definitely wasn't English. But we're going to jump into the goalkeeper position though and we're going to go in with Heaton. I did have McGregor that I obviously got in a pack. But uh, I was feeling a bit of Heaton. I thought Heaton's a better goalkeeper. Uh, stats wise and I just prefer to get heat in anyway because he is a uh, better goalkeeper in my opinion Again, to the defense we have got a few deep decent center backs all pretty solid to be honest We've got Martins Indy there 61 pace not the fastest but I'm hoping that uh, pace isn't much for being on FIFA and I uh, didn't actually get his stats there but I think he has like his high 70s uh, defending and uh, definitely looks like a solid centre-back. We've also got Johnny Evans as well, who has got decent pace, decent defending, actually looks like a pretty good card last year. Um, probably isn't too much different to his card last year, but for some reason, I, I'm, stats on certain cards this year just seem to look a bit better this year. I'm not, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just being weird. Um, that's normally the answer to most things, but... Anyway, we're going to get into the right back position. We're going to go with Barragan, who again is a player I got in a pack. It looks pretty decent uh, right back there and definitely will uh, probably, I might replace him at some point. But uh, for now, for the start squad, he will definitely be pretty decent. Uh, left back, we've got Ben Davies, 78 pace, decent defending as well. And that is the defence pretty much done. Looks pretty solid. Uh, no cards that really stand out as being like weak points. Maybe Martin's Indy isn't the fastest. But apart from that, a pretty solid defence and I'm hoping that it will be pretty solid when we actually get into doing some games with this team, hopefully, on FIFA 17. Now getting into the midfield, we've got a pretty decent midfield. We've got Cleverly in left centre mid, you can see there, 70 pace and I think it was like 75 passing. There's probably a way actually, there we go. We can actually find out stats now, which is helpful. <laughs> 70 pace though, uh, 77 passing, pretty decent, 78 dribbling as well. Uh, definitely looks like a pretty decent card there for Tom Cleverly. And uh, although he wasn't great for United, he has improved it a bit since moving to Everton, so that's pretty good for him. Uh, other centre mids, we've got Ki Sung Young. Ki, I think I pronounced that right. Hopefully, I have done. I'm not. I, I'm not fantastic at Korean names, as you can probably guess. But I think I've said that right. It might be Q, Ki Sung Young. Yeah, that's now I'm just sounding like I'm completely impersonating a bouncy ball. But anyway, we're going to get into stats. So 66 pace, 74 shooting, 81 passing as well, which for a 78 rated card is definitely very good, and 71 physical as well. And uh, 76 driven, which I don't think I've said already. If I have, I'm just retarded. But yeah, looks like a pretty good card there. And uh, definitely a pretty decent, cheap little sentiment as well um, for your team. Now getting to the cam position, we have got Henriksen from Hull. Now I did actually have Loftus-Cheek. I was considering maybe keeping him in there, but his stats don't look good enough, to be honest. So I did decide to get another cam, which is Henriksen from Hull. And uh, one thing that actually stood out for this guy when I was deciding what, like which cam to get, because there was a lot of options. Um, his 81 physical did stand out for me. He's got a semi-okay pace. It's definitely, you can work with it, I guess. Uh, good shooting as well, 77. That's another good stat that I noticed. And uh, 70 passing as well with 73 dribbling. Definitely looks like a very, very good card. That 81 physical as well, which I'm guessing is either like heading and strength, will definitely help him out in terms of like maybe coming back and like defending a bit more. And also going forward as well, he can kind of muscle players off the ball and just be an all-round fantastic player, I am hoping. Now, again, to the wingers, we have got, um, I think, well, I think the left mids actually. So I'll have to just go like this, left mid, there we go. And uh, there you can see, Yanazai, we have got in left mid position. Uh, it looks like a decent card. He was, to be honest, wingers are quite expensive from what I've seen. I wasn't even really able to pick up many players um, that were like, like insanely good. I did get Yanazai though, just because he looks like a pretty solid card. And uh, last year wasn't the greatest, so I picked him up this year just to see if he was any better. And to be honest, I didn't really have many options. Uh, there were some little players that I thought maybe, but uh, Yenazai was probably one of the best players I could um, find for the kind of price range I was looking for um, in the wingers. Right mid though, we have got Lingard, another, well, another United past and present. It was obviously Yenazai used to play for United, but we've got Lingard or Dabgard as, as sh no, shut up, Javen, that's just awful. <laughs> But anyway, the, uh, the the professor of the, the Dab Academy, which was the most cringiest I'd have ever seen in my life. Uh, we have got Lingard, and to be honest, he got a decent little upgrade. I think he was a 60... What was he last year? I think it was a 60... He was 60-something, I think. No, he was 70, actually. I think it was 70. But he has obviously got a 77 card this year, which definitely looks like a pretty decent card. Uh, Stats-wise, looks pretty decent as well. 73... Uh, p um, 83 pace, not 73. Um, 68... 68 Jesus Christ, I can't even speak. <laughs> 71 passing, 76 dribbling, 49 defending, and 62 physical. And thank God we finally got through that. It uh, looks like a pretty good card though. Definitely um, will probably be fairly cheap as well, even being a non-rare. 
and it doesn't have he has decent stats, but not like stats that you kind of look at and think like, whoa, I want to pick this guy up. I mainly picked him up just because I'm a United fan. I do, I do rate Lingard, so I wanted to try him out on FIFA, and hopefully he is pretty decent. Now, getting to the striker position, we've got a player who I actually put most of the budget for this team in, and it is the one and only Slimani. Islam Slimani, and I do like really rate this guy in real life. He does look like he has an absolutely fantastic card, this FIFA. Uh, it's the card last year, I think, which was, was a 80, I think. Uh, definitely looks like a good, definitely looks like it was a really good card on FIFA 16, and I'm hoping he can be a good card on this as well. Now, I, there was a lot of strikers I could have picked up. I could have picked like Ronda up for a lot, lot cheaper. But one reason, plus the fact that he looks like he has a really, really good card, but one big other reason why I picked this guy up is um, obviously if I play a few games with him on FIFA and he is really good, I won't sell him. But he does have the potential to actually rise in price when FIFA comes out. Uh, same with a lot of players as well. If you're picking up players that you think like, if you see a player that you think that card should be a lot more expensive then pick it up because chances are when FIFA actually comes out the the price will just boost up because play, a lot of people won't be actually buying players now so the price will be fairly low they'll be a little bit expensive on some players but some might be fairly low but when the game actually comes out on the 27th the prices will probably just boost up which uh, will definitely make you a lot of coins if you are wanting to sell them on but that is basically it for this video guys Hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what you think of the team. Obviously, it's not the most like fantastic team ever because I didn't only have 9k to build this team. Well, I think it was about 9.5k. So it's not the most fantastic team in the world. It's a decent team in my opinion. And I uh, hope you guys like this video though. So hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, then be sure to hit the like button down below, guys. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. See you later.